Hello and welcome back, welcome to my channel, Magneto ASMR. As usual, it's been a while since my last video. I hope you can forgive me for that and I hope you'll enjoy this show and tell of some Joy Toy Warhammer 40,000 action figures that I have got in my burgeoning collection. So, we'll start by taking a look at the first figure I have selected, and that is Chief Librarian Mephiston of the Blood Angels chapter. Now, I know a little bit about the Blood Angels chapter of Space Wolf, of Space Marines. They're not Space Wolves. Uh, possibly more than a little bit. Mephiston was originally a librarian called Calisterius, I believe. And librarians are the battle psychers of the Space Marines, genetically engineered superhuman warriors with, in the case of the librarians, formidable psychic powers at their disposal. Calistarius was, um, Calistarius succumbed to a affliction which affects the Blood Angels called the Black Rage. And the Black Rage is a phenomenon which takes the Blood Angels back psychically to the death throes of their founding father, the Primarch Sanguinius. And it basically overwhelms them with bloodlust and fatalistic urges. And once they've succumbed to the Black Rage, uh, it's usually the end of their usual service as a space marine. They become inducted into something called the Death Company. But in Calistarius' case, he was imprisoned beneath a building when the Black Rage took hold of him. And after several days of being trapped there and eventually becoming freed, he had mastered the Black Rage and is the only Blood Angel in their history to do so. So this figure is extremely vampiric in appearance. It's got the teeth of a vampire, wild eyes of a psyker, and this um, sinewy armor plating, which is very similar to the armor that Gary Oldman's Dracula wore in the beginning of the Bram Stoker's Dracula film. Like all Blood Angels, he wears red armor and has the blood tear drop symbol with wings. That's the chapter symbol of the Blood Angels. He wields a force sword with some lovely blue highlighting on it and a teardrop on the end, and these strange spiky formations. I'm not sure quite how effective that would be in combat, but I suppose it's a bit like a spear tip. And he has a plasma pistol. And this is his psychic hood, which amplifies his psychic powers. All in all, I'm very pleased with this figure. Lived up to my expectations. He's also got these blood vials on his, uh, armor and under his gun, uh, which presumably feasts on when the need takes him. He's got a tome under his, or onto it on his belt there with a little bookmark sticking out. Uh, yeah, he's a great figure. He also came with an alternate cape. I'll show you the box that he came in and some alternate hands. That's the hand that he's got on the figure at the moment. Um, I'm using that 
finger to pull the trigger of his plasma pistol. So that's the alternate cape, and this one swishes off to his right. Uh, this one sits more neutrally on the body, and then there's alternate hands for the different posing options. I think it's a great figure and really lives up to the art by Mark Gibbons and the model which was originally by Jez Goodwin and I forget who made the Primaris version maybe my cat knows, she certainly seems to want to get involved with this video you do don't you? noisy girl so the second figure I've got to show to you today is this Emperor's Champion of Black Templars. I'm really sorry about the noise my cat is making. If she carries on causing trouble, I'm going to put her in another room where she will probably make yowling noises. So this figure is um, one of the Black Templars. The original legion for the Black Templars was the Imperial Fists and the first Emperor's Champion was the Imperial Fist Sigismund who donned black armour and took up the Emperor's sword. Oh, this pistol has fallen off. I wonder where that's got to. He's definitely got a pistol that fits in his, in his waist in his belt uh, but it seems to have come loose and fallen off somewhere not quite sure where that is I should find out uh, yeah so Sigismund was the first Emperor's Champion and this Emperor's Champion I believe is called Rolantus here comes my cat to inspect the figure to go climbing. You're going to say hello? You want to do some kitty ASMR? I think you should go down on the floor. She's such a pesky girl. So, yes, this figure's got a great sword with Imperator Lux on one side and Excelsior Era on the other. The armour in general is quite plain but there's some nice detailing on this scroll work here. He's got a chain which is attached to his sword and then attached to his wrist. This is a common motif amongst the Black Templars. They'll chain their weapons to their hands so they can never fall out of their hands in battle. And it was a tradition that was begun by Sigismund, the first Empress Champion, I believe. He's got a nice shield on his shoulder there. And a shield here too, with a chain link on it. And the Templar Cross, uh, which is in several places on his armor. And also, it's evoked in the hilt of his sword. Another really nice figure, I think. Just notice these little red cablings at the back. There's always some detail on a Joy Toy figure that you're not quite aware of until you've examined it closely. So let's take a look at the box for the Emperor's Champion. So this is one of two Emperor's Champions that Joy Toy make. The other is Bayard's Revenge. So this is the Champion Rolantis. 118th scale, as all Joy Toy Warhammer 40,000 figures are. Although the original figures were much smaller than the figures that are coming out at the moment. They seem to be larger for some reason. There you can see the pistol which I've temporarily lost. Uh, a larger bolt, bolt gun, bolt pistol, I'm not sure whether that's a pistol or a gun. Maybe.
may be a pistol, but it certainly seems larger than that little pistol that's holstered. A magazine, which is separate and fits into the gun. Uh, they should be in the box. decided not to have my figure holding the gun because I prefer the two-handed pose with the sword. I think it looks more impressive. That's how I envisage the Empress Champion looking. Okay, the last figure I've got to show you is a Grey Knight and it's Grandmaster Valdus, who is apparently a formidable psyker. I don't know a great deal about the Grey Knights. I know that they were known as a second founding chapter, but they were actually founded during the Horus Heresy by Malkador the Sigilite from both Loyalist and Traitor Legions. But the legionaries who served in the Grey Knights formation were not traitors themselves and in fact every Grey Knight who has served in the chapter has uh, remained loyal to their vows and not fallen into the worship of chaos unlike other Space Marine chapters. So Valdas here has various hands. I've chosen to equip him with this open hand as his left hand, a uh, storm bolter integral to his gauntlet, a force hammer. He's got sparkling eyes which are generating some kind of psychic power about them. And his armor is very ornate and intricate with lots of words etched in it. There's glory here glory there. <laughs> uh, steel, mort, and then there's words that are partly covered by this shield. That might be mankind, inferno. On this side, warrior, glory, what might be word, death, deemed, can't quite make out what the sentences say in, in, in completion because the sword and the book are in the way. That's the symbol of the Grey Knights chapter. And the Grey Knights are the militant wing of the Ordo Malius, which is part of the Inquisition, and they are dedicated to hunting out demons in the Imperium of Mankind. So he's got a really big book on a, a a uh, leather strap around his body, and then there's a smaller book here. The armor is steel with blue shading, which is very nice. And it's got lots of details on these purity seals. Another figure I'm really pleased with. So let's take a look at the box for Grandmaster Valdus. hammer in a two-handed pose. I quite like 
for having the force hammer in one hand on this figure though. I hope you enjoyed this video and I intend making more videos when further Joy Toy figures arrive in my collection. I'll give a special shout out in this video with very quiet ASMR voice to Rhythmantia and Hi Honey who both uh, showed an interest in my figures and I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and taking a look at them. So until the next time, goodbye.